Welcome to our Live from the Hive pre-match show. The Bees are back in Vanarama National League action as we host Stockport County at the Hive London, looking for a crucial three points this evening. Coming up on our preview show, we take a look back at all of the action from Saturday's goalless draw with Wildstone. We look back at the last time these two teams met in the Vanarama National League and we sit down with assistant coach Steve Jenkins to get his thoughts on this evening's clash with the Hatters. There's plenty to come, so sit back, relax and get in the mood for this evening's match. It was great to have our fans back in the stadium for Saturday's game with Wildstone. You got right behind the team, so let's take a look back at all of the action.
Assistant head coach Steve Jenkins is in optimistic mood ahead of the Bees' clash with the Hatters. We sat down with him to get his thoughts ahead of tonight's match. Uh, Steve, looking back on Saturday's draw with Woodstone, what was your thoughts on the game? Because we certainly created some good chances. Yeah, we did. Um, I think our entries in the, in the final third was was good. Um, it was just a final ball, that little bit of decision making, that little bit of quality just let us down. Um, but in saying that, we still probably created enough sort of chances to uh, to make the game. When you look at the fact that sometimes the final ball is just what stops us getting a right clear sight on goal, do you think that's something that will come with a bit more confidence because the boys have obviously been a bit shaken from the previous two matches? Of course, it's been a difficult couple of weeks, so confidence is going to be effective, uh, affected. Sorry. So, yeah, I think once we get one goal, that would be you know, confidence to the front boys. And uh, like I said, there's more than enough quality there to create problems for, for teams in our league. So I think once we do get it, I think you know we'll uh, really push on and start to score, score more goals. Supporting Inny last week, his first two matches certainly caused defenders problems. He's a real handful and offers you and Peter something different. Of course, you know he's a physical presence. You know, he's six foot four, puts himself about, does give defenders a, a second, uh, and that's that's what we want. You know, a different dimension, um, and he's coming in doing he's done ever so well in the two games. So hopefully now we can sort of cap it off with, with you know picking up a winner uh, tomorrow night, which would be a good start. When you look at the game Saturday, we didn't give Woodstone's back line really a moment's peace, and it seemed to play into our hands because we won the ball a little bit higher up the pitch more often, particularly in the first half, and then the game became a little bit leggy in the last 10 minutes or so. Is that something that you and Peter want the players to do, trying to put defenders under yeah. pressure? Yeah, you know, the, the higher you can win the ball, you know, win possession. Um, the less distance you've got to go to goal. So the higher you, you know, how you win it, fantastic. Uh, we've always tried to play on the front foot and be aggressive, you know, from the front, and then work our way through, through the team. So it's good to see us, you know, making balls high up. But like I said, you know, if we are going to nick the ball and win possession, we still go have that final ball and that little bit of quality, you know, just to finish off, finish off these moves. Stockport at the Hive tomorrow night will be a tough game. They've got five games in hand on some of the teams in the division. Pretty fancy to be one of the ones up there. What are we expecting from them? Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. It's like every game is tough in this league. There's, there's no give me's. You know, you've got to be bang at it from the start in each game. So it's going to be no different. We expect a difficult test, um, but you know, I'm sure you know, we'll be positive uh, and we'll be going in to win the game as we do every game. Uh, but you know, we'll take a massive effort again to get the result. It's been another quick turnaround between fixtures. There's not really a moment of peace at the moment. What's the mood been like on the training pitch this morning, amongst the boys? Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Um, not that we've done much today, you know, it's because of I think we've played what has it been now? Uh, four games in nine days it'll be so you know it's been a, it's been a sort of a heavy heavy nine days so it's basically wrapping up the cotton mud if I'm honest you know the squad at the minute got quite a lot of injuries so we don't want anything happening now till the sort of 15 16 that we got fit so it's sort of uh, it's just a sort of recovery session today and in preparation for tomorrow when you look at back on Saturday's game you mentioned the injuries there it's sort of costing us a little bit. I know you and Peter don't want to use that yeah. as an excuse, but if you look at the bench on Saturday, Donny was the only sort of attacking player you could bring on. I assume you sort of hoping the Premier get a couple more back and fight and fit. No, I know. It, it, it's, been, it's been tough in terms of you know, the injuries. Um, and you look at him, we're well, really glad that we brought in any, because if we didn't have any, you know, we've been right up with the very bones in terms of the front boys. So yeah, that's been difficult because it doesn't give you many options in terms of changing the game when you've got three defenders. Um, but it's something that we've got to deal with. Um, it's something that we accept. But you know, we've got strikers on the pitch, so you know, you utilise these and uh, hopefully they'll get us the goals. The fans are back in the ground Saturday. How much of a difference do you think that made to the game? And maybe as we were mentioning about the pressing higher up the pitch, that little extra five percent or so to want to go and get at your man. Oh no, it's fantastic. At the end of the day, football's not football without fans. You know, they've got to be there, and it's fantastic uh, to get them back on Saturday. Um, I think it made a big difference to the team as well, um, and all all the players um, were really really pleased to see see the fans back and the support that they give us. So if we now be back in the numbers, um, it'd be good to get even more in. Uh, and support is getting awfully supporting us to uh, to win tomorrow, tomorrow night.
as we said, momentum can be a really big thing. And a win against Stockport tomorrow would be a real boost after, again, an improved performance on Saturday, be it not the three points we were after. Exactly. Uh, I think if you look throughout the league, if you could put back to back wins together, this would propel us to that league. And uh, it's all about consistency. Consistency. We are being inconsistent. You know, there's no denying that. But we have got to find that. And, uh, and, and a couple of wins on the bounce will go a long, long way to finding that, and also giving us the confidence to go forward. Just last, I think Jack mentioned it in his post-match interview on Saturday that having the fans on side is is obviously a real big boost. And they got right behind the boys on Saturday. You know, they would have come into the game disappointed with the previous results, but. It seems everyone put that to the back of their minds and really got behind the boys and I thought the atmosphere was, was really good Saturday. It was, and, and and you bang on there, you're exactly right. You could have easily come, you know, and thought you know, we're gonna we're gonna come play, we're not gonna get behind the boys, because the result, results haven't been haven't been what we, we would want. But on Saturday they were absolutely fantastic and they got right behind the boys from, from minute one all the way right through to the end. Um, and that's what we need, you know. Confidence is low, so you know it's vital that we get the fan support behind us because it does make a big, big difference to the players as well. Let's take a look back at the last time the Bees met the Hatters. It was an entertaining clash in the Northwest, and let's take a look back at all of the action. Thanks for joining us on our Live from the Hive 
pre-match show. If you're coming down to the Hive this evening, get right behind Peter Beadle's side and cheer them on, hopefully to three points. If you're watching on the stream, I'll hand you over to your commentary team of Aaron Pullen and myself, Adam Rowe. 